first off, thanks for everyone who watched our Flash review because it has like, like around like 600 something views. Like y'all actually cared about us talking about a movie that we thought would never happen, which is like listen, crazy. listen, I'm on the Flash train, even though Ezra Miller's a criminal. What did he say? Hey! Oh, <laughs> Right? It's, it's selling the movie, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Actually, a movie that I forgot was coming out, another DC film, uh, one of uh, one of my favorite combo characters ever, I think. Uh Blue Beetle people. Mm -hmm. I'm about Blue Beetle. And um I'm 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 excited this trailer dropped, I think, well, like uh on Monday or something. Yeah. Monday? Like two um, days ago, yeah. Yeah. Um I haven't seen it. Um, hopefully, Seamus, you did you see it? You did. Yes, right? I have. Yeah. You couldn't wait. You you couldn't wait for the. Okay, fine. Uh, the, the deception, the betrayal, man. You deceived me. It was so funny too, cause I I just I just happened to stay up until, cause I was like, oh, it comes out today. I was studying super late, and they were like, hey, it's up at like four a.m. And I was like, no way. And I had to, I, cause Blue Beetle's well, my favorite. He's my dude. favorite. We'll, we'll we'll get into it, but like yeah, so Blue <laughs> Beetle came out the trailer. Um, when it's uh starring you know a bunch of Latinx talent like Sholo Marduena and George Lopez is in it, and Susan Franzen's in it, is in it. Cobra I think. Kai, Cobra Kai, rise up! Yeah, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai. First impressions. What were your first impressions going into it from like when the from when the film was announced till now seeing you know, a trailer drop. Well, what were your thoughts on your first impressions of it? I honestly, I had more faith in this being good than I did the Flash being good. Like mm -hmm. when I heard this was announced and I heard the cast and I heard the, 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 the crew involved, I was like, this not like, it sounds like it's at least going to be really fun. So I was on the, I've been on the hype train for this. I've been, I've been, the, I've been the conductor of the hype train <laughs> for Blue Beetle because ever since I saw him in Batman Brave and the Bold when I was like a little seven year old, I was like, that's my boy. This is like a dream come true. Partners with Batman. We're not partners. Not yet, at least. Yeah! That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's Jaime. I love him. I lo Listen, I love Ted Cord, but like, Jaime's who I grew up with. So mm -hmm. like, I'm so, I, was, I, was, I was really excited. And, and when I, they announced that the, the trailer was coming out on Monday, I was just like, that's a holiday now. It's Blue Beetle Day, baby. <laughs> Blue Beetle Day. Hey, Cash, guess what the day is? It's game day. What, what? I'm happy you said that, um, the whole Brave and the Bold thing, because that's also how I got into Blue Beetle was watching yeah. Brave and the Bold. When it came out, like, on Cartoon Network, because he was, like, the first episode. And yeah, in, like, 2008, because he was, like, it was, like, he was created in 2006, and Brave and the Bold was, like, his first, like, actual adaptation of anything. Mm -hmm. And he was, like, the, the, it was basically, like, Brave and the Bold was, like, Marvel team-up, but instead of Batman and a random person, it was usually Batman, Blue Beetle, and a random person. Exactly. And that's why I was, like, oh, I love Blue Beetle so much. Yeah, but ever since then, when I watched it as a kid, I loved Jaime Reyes' Blue Beetle. That actually mm -hmm. brought me to read the the like the the first series actually, like right after when I watched them um, Brave and the Bold, when I could find some issues. Love that character. Loved him even more in Young Justice season two. He was amazing because he was like the main focus of that like. Yeah. Season. Ask him the fastest way out, dude. I don't speak the. Wait, you can? What are you waiting for? I think Jaime is a dope character, and I honestly never thought we would ever get a Blue Beetle film, with at least with him starring in it. Um, but um, yeah, man. And then when they announced it, I think like well, like Fandom, like two years ago, they said, "Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we're doing a Blue Beetle movie." I was like, "Yo, if they don't get my boy, um, Sholo Marduena from Cobra Kai, I'm going to riot." I think that like, he was like everyone's like ideal first choice to play Jaime yeah. because after seeing him on Cobra Kai, you feel like, "Nah, he was like born to play this role." <laughs> For the love of God, please! Usually the fan cast, I'm like, I see it, but it's not. But he was the only fan cast that I was like, he's got, he's got martial arts experience. He's like a really funny, down to earth actor. Mm -hmm. It's just like it was like he was born to play Jaime. And then when they mm -hmm. announced it, I was like, they did it, they did it. Yeah. Look around, look around you. Look at this. We created this. This didn't exist before we were here. Look around at the square. I promise you right now, we did this. I'm very excited. Um, and again, we'll, we'll just get right into it, man. Because I, I, I'm, I, I've been waiting. Wait a minute. Who are you? How many days? What's up, Storm? Uh, <laughs> Take a shower. Excuse me, Mr. Reyes. How long do what? <sighs> You 
always land on your feet. Oh, your hymen. They don't get out much. <laughs> God, I have no life, but do not open it. You went in to get a shot, and all you brought back was a hamburger. Okay, I don't think it's a burger. You haven't looked? What the hell is that? How did you get it to do that? I think he likes me. Wow. Get it out! Get it out! Get it out! Damn! This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. What the? What the? Who said that? Okay, it's gonna be okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow. Free entry systems ready. Wait, 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 no, no. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Oh, this is nuts. What is going on? I just want to run. It's called the Scarab. It's some kind of world destroying weapon. It's designed to protect its host. This ain't what you want. Sometimes it does what you want, and sometimes it doesn't. Last time. I, I, I think I cut a bus in half. <laughs> the Scarab chose you. But it belongs to me. The love you feel for your family makes you weak. I just wanna rap. Let's go! Let's go! The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. That's my heart. One, two, three, four, four, five, five. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. that, that's the Buster story, baby. Nice nice I just want to Whoa. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. I just want to <laughs> Wasn't that incredible? That was so sick. Wow. That looked like that looked like that looked like uh the closest thing we're ever getting to a sequel to that Power Rangers movie. <laughs> yeah. All like, like, there. it looked like Power Rangers, but like in the best way possible, where he was doing all those like flips with the sword, with the Buster Sword and shit. Dude, I love the fact that like this man's like, yo, the first thing I'm gonna make to like beat the shit out of someone is make a fucking like anime sword. Yeah, that is hard. That's so <laughs> hard, bro. Don't fuck with me. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Wait, do you ah! I think the I think the best thing about it is just like yeah like they're, they're doing the family aspect. It's gonna be a very like fun I think like family film. I think I'm getting those vibes from it. Um, That's what I'm saying. It looks like just like a really fun and original. You know what I mean? Like I you, you, like Shazam tries to do the family thing, but like I mm -hmm. feel like in Shazam too it didn't really work as well. But like this looks like it looks like he's like lives with people who are his actual family exactly. and like. And like and like George Lopez is there just yelling at him. <laughs> <laughs> much, he's he's like he's like I don't know which like who he's playing his dad or his uncle, but he's like that like un, that like annoying uncle. I think. Yeah. With this kid, with this pendejo, with this one illegal. Aren't you illegal, tío? No, tío, tío, tío. No, tío, 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 tío. It's With so his funny. big ass, I love his beard, big ass beard too. <laughs> yeah, man, he looks like a fucking crazy person. It's so funny. A few moments later, like Jaime's origin in the comics. Um, the way he gets the scarab is like he gets it like in like like the like Ted Cord experiments on the scarab. It like it, it causes like the building to blow up. The scarab falls and just falls on Jaime conveniently. So yeah. this is an interesting take on the uh, on the origin where. Like the scarab is given to him by someone who works at Cord Industries, mm -hmm. um, in a freaking niche. Shout out to Big Belly Burger. Um, I, I, like this is like the only Let's time. Let's ever... rise up. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like that's like the only time I've seen Big Belly Burger not in the Arrowverse. So like applause, props to Big Belly Burger for rising up there. But um, yeah, that's really interesting. Like yeah, he's just given the scarab. Um, I don't know why this person would trust like an intern, but um, because he's he's Jaime. Who doesn't yeah, trust Jaime? <laughs> I'm that guy. 
People see me and they just want to give me free drinks. What can I say? I'm the guy. I have also had a problem lately with nanotech suits and how mm -hmm. like kind of annoying they are because they just appear. But the way his transformation in this, like the like the it was like black goop like burning him. And then yeah. like the, the armor forms around the goo like suit. I was like, that looks really cool and interesting and different and alien instead of just like it's a nanotech suit that just forms around him after he taps his chest. Oh hell no! It's like no, <laughs> it fucks him up a little bit. <laughs> looks like it hurts. Like it looks yeah. like it hurts. And I'm like, that then... that's cool. He has to. It hurts a little bit for him to transform. That's Yo, like the cl the most classic thing to do with a superhero. Exactly. And freaking George Lopez getting flung across the goddamn room like that was, that hilarious. was hilarious. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, yeah, like this transformation right here, like that looks and yeah, just, dude, that, it looks sick as hell. It looks like kind of like body horror, like yeah, you're right there. Like it looks like it's melting onto him. Yeah, it's like, I like the way that look. It look it's it's a good look for it. it and it's sick. like it makes it feel more alien. Hey, man. Because, like, um, a part that you may want to go to is that whole that whole section where they're in, like, the Ted Cord's lair. Because you can see, like, you can yeah, see you there's a bunch of in it. I saw Ted Cord's original fit, the original Blue Beetle fit with the trunks and shit. And I was like. Yeah, and I think you see Dan Garrett, too. Like, yeah, yes. you see Dan Garrett. You see Dan, you Dan see Garrett, Ted too. Cord. Yeah, like, right over there. That's, yep. that's awesome. I mean. Like I know, is that Susan Sarandon is playing um, Ted Cord's um, wife? Ted's wife. So like, I've heard, I've heard either Ted's wife or gender bent Ted. Gender bent Ted. So like, like, I've heard that she could either be playing Ted's wife or she's playing like a version of Ted that's like gender bent. Two hours later, James Gunn said that if things are popular, he'll bring them over to the new DC universe. I hope this is popular enough to bring over to the new DC universe. I think be... this was already established in the new DC universe already just because it was happening after the Flash. So. That's what I thought. But, like, like James Gunn was, like, this movie was done filming, at, like, right before James Gunn got, you know, hired. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, it's, it's, I, I think it's pretty up in the air. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean... I, I've said it. I've said it in um in another um in in one of um, my other Discord chats that like I think it's a smart decision just integrating Jaime into the into the new DC universe just because one he's an intro character, two yeah. like it's literally just like he's an establishing character and they could literally the way they're advertised they they're, like the way the character is just in the comics and just like the way I'm seeing it in this trailer they could just more literally even promote him as like the brand new like young DC. Yeah. Hero. Like he could be the next Spider. He could be. He could be DC Studios is like Spider Man. Yeah. It, it oh, sense. or or they could do Sideways, Mike. <laughs> or, they could, or they could just do Sideways. You're right. What more do you want from me? They're making I mean, a Booster sense. Gold show, so like. Yeah, you could really need Ted Cord in there. Yeah, they, yeah, they could like maybe even like who knows? Maybe they will tease Ted Cord, and then Ted Cord can literally just translate. Ted Cord can translate into the Blue Beetle show. Mm -hmm. like, and have to be more of him in that series, you know? Yeah. It could be a little gateway. Yeah, and have, no, like, like, Jaime make a cameo in that series, you know? Like, exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this just to close it off just from here, that mm -hmm. I'm very excited. This is one of my favorite characters in DC. I'm happy that we're going to, you know, have this character, like, have his do in live action. It looks great. It looks fun. The action looks incredible. They're actually, like, he looks like Blue Beetle and has the powers. Yep. Um and you know, Sholo, if you're watching this, bro, I'm proud of you, man. You fucking deserve this shit, man. You, I'll be there day like, one. Day I'll one. There. I'll I'm buy up an entire theater. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy up an entire theater just so everyone can watch Blue Beetle. Outside um, of the movie, I'm gonna pour one out for Batgirl. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, yo, real talk. All yeah, right. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> Blue Beetle's great. I'm getting Blue off Blue my Blue soapbox Blue. about Batgirl. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably make into that, that little rental nice little clip. Don't worry about it. I got it. <laughs> You know what this gives me hope for, which will never happen, but similar characters, similar power set. They mm -hmm. got I think they gotta they gotta pull the trigger and make a generator X movie, you know? That would be <laughs> you, okay, listen. You, you, need to, you need to calm down like, because like tell me it's like similar character, he can create weapons out of his body. Oh, he's also have, he's, no he's also idea. Latino. <laughs> Instead of my nanites turning me into a rampaging monster, I control them. Tell them what to do. That means I can do things like this. 
You have no idea, like, bro. I I'm like one of the biggest Generator X fans. I love right? that show so much. That show so good. They had J.K. Simmons on that show. Yo, have Solo play both characters, please. Have <laughs> <laughs> okay. Solo's also playing Ben Ten. Fuck this. Oh man, yeah, fuck <laughs> it. The show over. Have him just play like every well known <laughs> teenage superhero character. He's in. He's, he's in Cobra Kai. He's in Generator X. He's in Blue Beetle. Yeah, he's in fucking <laughs> Ben Ten. Like it's just it's just. That'd Fuck be great. 